Hey guys, so it is March 16th, 2024, Reconquista 96. For today, Saturday, I wanted to wake up and pray at 7.30, church at 8, apps at 9, stretch at 9.30, edit at 10, um, grocery shop at 12, eat at 2, go to work at 3, and then go to sleep at 11. Um, so this is what I actually ended up doing, <laughs> was I woke up at 10.30, so extremely late, but that was because of the prior day, I went to go play soccer at night. I uh, went to church. I did not even go to church. This is the first time I missed church all year. All year I've been going and every week. And this is the first time I miss it. Yeah, and it's just a culmination of just the whole week and how um, I've fallen off structurally. And it's really affected me um, performance wise. As for apps, I didn't do them until 4 44 p.m., I stretched at 5 22. I didn't edit, I didn't grocery shop, I ate at 7 p.m., I didn't go to work, and then I went to sleep at 5.30 a.m. For daily production, I did zero TikTok, zero Bumble Prime videos, zero Uber Eats, coming to a total for the week of $272.61 out of 667. Fix, I put intro, tax, and applications. I know the fix session has been the same the whole week, and I've been struggling, so I won't even get those done, but hopefully we get them done soon. For notes and reflections, I put this. This one's gonna, it, it seems like it's not gonna be an optimistic one, but I guess I chose to see the bright side and things. Um, the reason I didn't go to work or anything like that is because I went to hang out with my cousins. It was almost like a... Uh, ¿Qué quieres? All right, I'm back, guys. My mom heard I was recording, so she, she had to come, uh, come in. <laughs> At first it was a joke, but now it's every time I do this. Um... So yeah, like I was talking about, I had like a family day with my cousins. We went to hang out. We went to go play golf. So that's why I didn't go to work. And that's why I ate at 7. I was waiting to eat because we we're going to go eat together. But for the notes and reflections, I put, I could write about the failure of Saturday um, in, reg in regards to my goals and work. But today I'll talk about the importance of family and building a strong connection to them. Today I went to Korean barbecue, top golf. And then hung out with my in, in my cousin's uh, garage uh, just to talk and chill. And I think this was a very good experience for all of us. I really do love spending time uh, with my brother and my cousins. And having that foundation of family that you can be honest with will lead to a better development in life. A lot of the times, especially now, these family relations are not as appreciated and, and nurtured. And people miss out on a lot. Now we can get into, okay, yeah, <laughs> so now I went to this guy, you are done. But yeah, I just think, um, I think it's very important to kind of have like this kind of system, or for me, at least it is to have this foundation of people that you can just talk to and share certain things. Um, it wasn't, I mean, we had conversations and stuff, but it wasn't mostly like that. I know people sometimes use their, their friends and family as like therapy. <laughs> I don't think you should do that. But I was just talking more in the fact that, you know, I uh, went to hang out with my cousins. We had a fun time. Uh, we're spending time with one another. And we're just chilling and we're having a good time overall. We're growing up together is what I'm trying to say. And we're, you know, forging these bonds that will eventually, you know, when we get older, we each have our families. We'll still see each other and we'll still be part of everyone's lives. But then I said, now we can get into the schedule. Today was the first time I missed church all year. It made me feel like a bum. <laughs> I really need to step up next week, develop better habits, and finish everything in my schedule. The only true way to do this is to wake up on a relatively good time, head to the gym right away, and let that momentum guide the rest of my day. I got this. I truly believe. And that is the reason why next week you'll see a little bit of a shift. All right, I'm back. Oh, my phone ran out of storage. <laughs> I have like so many safe videos from the B-roll. I know what you guys are talking about. The B-roll is the when I go play soccer. When I put this in the background sometimes. So uh, that's why I'm trying to catch up. So it's not as um, compacted. But um, yeah, what was I talking about the rest of my day? I got this. Um, yeah, that's what will be some changes next week. Where I move some of the things around. It didn't really work that well. Um, I guess spoiler. But I think I tried it at least, and we did get a little bit better, but not too crazy. But as for today, calorie-wise, I had like over 3,000. I ate so much in the Korean barbecue. We were just eating um, 
what thing is what's it called it's like steak it's like steak but not really steak uh, chogi or something like that i don't know it's like steak um weighed a lot of that so i just put 3000 plus i don't even know how much i eat and then for my weight i put out uh, 229.1 that's how i measured up today and also we're at 76 days out of 77 so tomorrow will be the last day of the alcohol ban that i put since january 1st and we complete 77 days and we'll talk about it tomorrow but uh yeah yeah that's pretty much it see you guys next time adios